Carpal tunnel is a condition where the median nerve, uh, which goes to the thumb, index, and long finger gets trapped in the wrist. And it's a pressure situation where there's too much pressure on the nerve for it to have its normal blood supply and function. Pain, discomfort in the wrist, tightness, numbness in the fingers, uh, and this is often seen when patients trying to sleep or stay, go to sleep or stay asleep uh, or do repetitive tasks like um, working or driving. Anybody can get carpal tunnel, uh, 20s to 80s, men, women, uh, activity, no activity. Uh, it's, it's a very common condition. Roughly 1% of the population will be uh, struggling with carpal tunnel at any given time. The cause is, uh, is multifactorial, lots of things can kind of contribute. Uh, some people just have an anatomic uh, disposition to getting carpal tunnel. Sometimes people will have medical conditions like diabetes or thyroid conditions that make them more susceptible uh, to developing uh, carpal tunnel. Um, and then sometimes it's activity related. The more you do, the more it, it's aggravating uh, and the more symptoms uh, flare up. So what we try to do when we see somebody for a carpal tunnel is uh, first establish the diagnosis uh, to make sure that what they think is carpal tunnel truly is and that there's not another concomitant condition that could be um, masking or contributing to the uh, diagnosis. Uh, we try non-operative uh, techniques like night splinting um, and if that's not successful then we do have an operative correction uh, for the condition. There's an, what we call an endoscopic uh, technique where we do two little incisions uh, and do the same work underneath the skin and that's good for people that are trying to go back to those heavy lifting kind of higher activity uh, events as quickly as possible. Uh, so it has that advantage. The downside is with that uh, particular technique, uh, in my hands you need to go to sleep. Uh, so people that are looking to avoid a general anesthetic typically perform the uh, procedure with just a local. The surgery generally involves an incision between here to here, so about a two to three centimeter incision. Uh, stitches come out at two weeks, no splint, no cast, no therapy, just uh, simple wound care uh, for two weeks and then patients gradually get back to doing what they want to do. Same results at six months. Uh, and that's, that's my experience and that's also what's uh, been borne out in the literature. People that go back and study, you know, how do people do? Uh, at six months, it, it seems to be not really relevant which way you had the technique, but just that you had the, uh, had the procedure performed. Uh, the nocturnal symptoms, the shake it out, wake you up in the middle of the night, nuisance, that's gone within a day or two. Uh, depending on how severe it is, Sometimes people get uh, sensation back to the fingertips within days to weeks. Sometimes if it's really severe and it's been there for years, that may take longer. Um, but the, the very reliable thing is the, the nocturnal, the night pain, the shake it out pain. People say that's better than a day or two.